Hello YouTube and in today's tutorial what we're going to do is continue with the character creation because we are almost there, we are so close to finishing. I dare say after this and the next tutorial we should be done on the character creation. I know it's taking longer than it should be but the 200th video is coming up, we're going to make something really special hopefully, make it super awesome and yeah. So let's go on with it. So what we're going to do is continue with our... Um, modeling skin thing bit whereas we've got male female we've got taller shorter but then we've also got the cape now so what we're going to do is when we apply the cape we want to be able to choose the skins again so next skin this skin next skin this skin and I thought the best place would be to put it would be literally here so just like that right there so you've got your next cape when you've actually got a cape this is a bad display with my amazing drawings because you can see you can go next skin or previous skin even though it says next next. So then we can go through the skins of the cape. And if you don't know what the skins are, basically it's the colours for our capes. But when we go into our cape, if we just pause it and have a look, you can see right here, we can change the colour of this. So we're going to. Eventually we'll make better capes, but like if we go and find here, look you've got we've got red, green, white, black, black with a skull, blue. We can add it all to it. It'll be cool. Hopefully. So yeah, so we're going to go into that really, really, really simple. So go to your main camera and open up character creation. And you can see here, we've actually got armor stages. We've got, um, don't worry about that, that's for something else. We've got spawn places, we've got head armor, back armor, cape armor. And now what we need, instead of cape armor, we need cape skins. Really simple to do. So what we're going to do is come down here and you can see I've enlarged it for all you. Instead of game objects we're going to go textures and we're going to go var cape skins in fact cape skin and it'll be a texture. The difference between a texture and a texture 2D which in my head the way I see it is texture 2D are for GUI stuff. It works better as that. Textures are for material textures. It's better. So texture right there. If you want, you could also turn it to material, and then what you could do then is if you set um, specific ones in here, so instead of we're going to assign that exact one, if you wanted to assign these, so say you've got the red one and then you've changed it slightly, you could, but I'm not going to. So then when we've done that, if we've saved it, we've got cape skin, we need to make it into an array, so how do you do it? You literally put the square brackets, boom. Spawn places, we don't need to set the transform spawn so we come back here cape skin will turn to an array and then what we can do is if we lock it up here click the lock button if we grab the colors what we need black black blue green red white and then we drag it all on to the cape skin it adds every single one unlock and it all works fine great technique there so there we've got all up and now all we need to do is program the buttons in it's that simple. So where do we want them? Like my picture suggested, we want it next to the next cape button. So if we find the cape button, head armor, and the capes, here we go. So this is where we want it under here. So we want next and previous buttons, just like normal. So we copy it and paste it down here. And this will say, um, basically if it's one of those types. So what we can do, is eventually you could assign certain skins to certain capes which we'll do in the future not now so say you've got a short cape you get different skins than what you could get on the big cape so it'll make it look better but we don't need to do that right now so we've got previous cape and what we really need to do is get rid of this if statement here and that bracket there so these two buttons here are conjoined in this one if statement and then if armor stages 2 does not equal 0 so basically if it doesn't have no cape, so it has any cape, because we're not going to have zero as no cape, one, two, three as a cape, then four as no cape again, that would make no sense. And then we can call it as previous skin, and next skin, there, so we're halfway there already. So the next thing we've got to do is just like we've created here, we've got to create an integer that, to store which cape skin we're on. But every single one's going to have skin. So we could add it to all armor stages, but it'd be a nightmare. So what I'm going to do is duplicate it and call it skin stages. And new in, and uh, it will equal to three for now. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of it. 
it can equal anything we want. So skin stage is right there, and all we can do is we come back down to cape armor here, and then what we're going to do is move all these buttons across. Now this one is pretty close, but I like the distance, we'll say 10 or 20 over. So if we get the X of here, and then add it to the width of the button, so 130, so 30 plus 100, because that's the X position. So the X position plus the width of the button will get after the button. So if we change this to 140, then it should be the X position of the old one plus the width of it plus 10. Makes sense. Add it to the same one. There. So hopefully that should be the right place. And now if armor stages, we went wrong one again. There, do it on the skins, which is here, previous skin. 140 and 140 right place now then what we can do is actually get rid of this bit here because we don't really need it so what we can go is do is go to the end come up and just get rid of it but we want to keep the selection clicked on so we can get rid of this and just get rid of the appropriate one so all you've got is the audio for the previous so we're on the previous at the moment so of course we're going to need to put a new statement above this to say if we're less than what we need to be but we can do that later so first thing we're going to do is do and the skins one which was skin stages and then all we do is skin stages zero which we'll say is for cape in fact we'll say one the helmets can be for capes in fact we'll just stick with zero for now because it will get too complex otherwise apologies for that that's my phone going mental so skin stages zero plus plus in fact it's minus so it'll be minus minus so decrease it and now what we need to do is set the correct material so when we spawn the cape we actually spawn it with a certain inside side in it so if, as you can see it's in the correct place now it won't do anything so if we go and have a look at our cape we've got current cape which has got nothing it's a prefab in order to align it to the correct position whereas if we need to find cape inside so we will be doing a game object dot find hopefully and we'll just have to make sure they all say cape inside yeah so what we can do is we need to go to here get this material and change it to one what we've stored really simply done all we do is in here is type game object dot find cape inside inside which is what it's called dot renderer which we're going into the renderer of it if have I got one uh, there dot this is the renderer so we're going into the renderer here and we're going to go and get the material so we'll do dot material and then we need to go dot main texture which is the first one it will be used the first one so dot main texture it has to be a capital T and then equals and this is where we set it so we set it to all the way up top again cape skins right there and then all the way back down to here cape skin bracket where are we? Skin stage stages. Boom. Just like that. And now that will install it. And we can actually just copy and paste all of this into here. But change it to plus plus. And that's almost done. All we need to do now is make sure it's not going more than or less than it should. And if you look up here, we've literally already done it here. So on the next cape here, we've gone if it's less than the cape armor length minus one. So we can copy that. Paste it into the next one which is here and to keep the defaults I'll align it right so it goes next previous next previous add a bracket make it look nice boom so it's change armor stages to skin stages zero so this skin stages zero is less than cape skins length dot minus one because otherwise we'll go too far and then we do the same for previous whereas you look here it's if it doesn't equal zero so paste it here and edit like so so if skin stages zero doesn't equal zero and that'll do the capes perfectly so it'll do the same thing where it hides the buttons and shows it and it should just flick between the buttons if there's a cape available and it says you cannot convert an int to an int 208 so obviously what we've done is here We've not, here, right here, skin stages, we need to set which integer of the variable it's going to go. So 
access the cape skin array with the array of skin stages of the we one which we need like so so don't forget the both arrays but if you look on the others they've all done it so now it should work we can try it flick through the skins and it should work perfectly so when it loads next next oops now gone too far and now if we had a cape on boom we don't get the options because we've done something wrong as you can see index is out of range so we have to have a look what that does really simple error we've not actually set skin stages to anything set it to one just so we can access the cape play again it's sim simply saying we couldn't find the integer next 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 cape boom next skin we can't go previous because we're already on the first skin even though we're not we need to change it next skin blue black green red black again which is the skull and now we can't go next because we've got no next if we take off it hides it go back on it stores it back how it was but we need we can fix that really easily so easy way to fix the green spawning one first will be if we go back to our spawning of the cape but get this line here where it gets the assigns the skin texture come back up here right here where it spawns the cape right there after it's changed its name paste this line and then boom But there is one issue right here. What if it can't find the cape inside? Because when it deletes it and doesn't spawn one, then it just doesn't spawn anything. So what do we do? So what we can do is just bring it across and go if game object dot find cape inside does not equal null. So basically, if it can find it, do this. Otherwise, don't do it at all. And of course, we're going to copy that to the previous one under the name again. And what it'll do is actually spawn. It at the material which it should be so say if we've selected the black school cape and we go back off the cape and we're like oh no we go back onto it it'll spawn it as a black cape again hopefully so let's try it next 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 cape as you can see it starts at white brilliant go next next we're on the black skull previous oh no we've lost it go back black again see it's still on the skull if we half it it definitely works perfect as you can see so it's really easy to adapt that into anything else what we've got because I know we've got quite a few other now as you can see here we could attach it to the face left eye or other ones but I'm not going to because we are going to change this model eventually I'm going to use something else to make it so I'm not going to work too in depth with changing these but the eye color would be a nice feature but the thing is we would have to change all the eyes as well because you can see we'd have to change the exact code so I'm not actually going to do any anymore on the modeling so the next stage which we would do will be the stats stage as you can see my unit is messed up which is this one here so the armor one I'm actually going to leave there for now because then when we get it we can actually fix it up but you can see this character control character creation script is much better all we do is assign it and assign all the variables and we'll be done and we couldn't make quite a few of them disappear so that's all we're going to do for now the next tutorial what we're going to do we are actually going to look at we could maybe add some more features to it but we could definitely add more materials to each one so add more materials for each thing or make it so you can color each individual one add more capes maybe feet armor we've got loads of different ones and when we go next edit our character stats so what do you want to start off with strength speed whatever name description if you so wish stuff like that then we can continue with the game so we're getting there slowly so i hope you liked it thank you for watching there's a few we need do need to change but it's all in the development process we should have really done this at the beginning but never mind it's a good learning experience thank you for watching i hope you liked it if you did watch till the end type um eyeball yeah that'd be cool name tap eyeball as a comment so I know who's watched up because it's always cool to know that people's watched all your YouTube video instead of skipping through it so thank you for watching I really hope you liked it thumbs up for if you did like it please go over to Crimson Cast channel and thumbs up or subscribe for lending me her microphone which is what I'm recording with now definitely thinking about going one thank you for watching see you next time